welcome all to the launching of the Peru Marketplace, a platform which will help business-to-business -business relations and boost the exports from Peru to the U.S. I am Conrado Falco, Director of the Trade Commission of Peru in LA. My colleague Bernardo Muñoz leads the office in New York and Max Rodriguez is in charge of our Trade Commission in Miami. We three cover all the 50 states in the U.S. The United States is the key market for Finnish and manufactured Peruvian products that we call non-traditional export, but it's really amazing the variety of, productos, of products that are being exported to the U.S. and that is increasing every year. The long and strategic trade partnership between Peru and the United States is stronger every day. We signed a free trade agreement also almost 12 years ago, and we can proudly say that our trade has successfully survived the COVID-19 pandemic. Peruvian export to the U.S. grew again during 2020, reaching 6.3 billion. To be more specific about some export numbers and sectors, during, 20, during 2020, agricultural products accounted for 2.8 billion from the exports from Peru to the U.S. Peru is one of the first countries in the Southern Hemisphere to send its summer supply of fresh fruits and vegetables to the winter in the U.S. The big new stars of produce in Peru are table grapes, avocados, and blueberries, followed by asparagus, mangoes, citrus, organic bananas, and much more. Specialty coffees and fine cacao products are also, are also notable food exports. Native Superfoods Peru products should be highlighted, particularly quinoa and maca, incredibly flavorful ginger and onions, Amazon or Brazilian nuts, and ready-to-eat presentation of artichokes and mouth-watering peppers represent just some of the diversity Peru offers. Seafood is also an important export category from Peru with 250 million sent to the U.S. last year, counting mahi-mahi, Peruvian scallop, shrimp, squid, anchovies, as few examples. The textile sector reached 552 million in export to the U.S., being very important in our manufacturing production. Peru specializes in quality knit and pima cotton garments, while also well-versed in the growing want for performance apparel. Among the globally recognized brands that manufacture in Peru are Vineyard Vines, Lululemon, Lansen, Bombas, Ralph Lauren, Tory Burch, Lunia, and many more. And an also growing category is Alpaca del Peru, sweaters, accessories, capes, and ponchos for winter, though we have been developing light alpaca and new alpaca for different seasons and for luxurious and contemporary brands. Gold and silver exports grew to 144 billion and 60 million respectively, with numerous other metals contributing to the total. Phosphates accounted for 193 million and chemicals for 140 million. Many of these products will be highlighted in the Peru marketplace. For 2021, projections are excellent for sustainable growth between the two nations, now that vaccination and better COVID treatments are controlling the pandemic, with the free trade agreement that Peru maintains with the US always an aid. And the Peru Marketplace B2B platform will help to, will help to grow even stronger than projected. But before getting to the launch of the Peru Marketplace, please, please allow me to give a few mentions to two key Peruvian sectors that are tourism and gastronomy, which would be also important for you when, after visiting and doing business in the Peru marketplace, you decide also to visit. Peru received a maximum of 4.4 million tourists a year before the pandemic, and more than 600,000 were US tourists. They are direct flights from New York, New Jersey, Miami, for Lauderdale, Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, and LA. It takes like eight hours from LA and, and five hours from Miami. 
The best known tourist attraction in Peru is Machu Picchu, and the Alaska lines are also well known. Of course, the city of Cusco is a must. 59% of Peruvian territory is Amazon jungle. And the big cities of Lima and Arequipa are the gastronomic capitals of Peru. There is a famous list of 50 best restaurants in the world. And very few cities in the world have more than one restaurant in that list. But Lima has three. But there are more than 500 Peruvian restaurants in the US and we invite you to try them all. Now, we would like to take this time to give the opportunity for some US buyers to comment their successful experiences importing products from Peru and working with key Peruvian exporters. We will start with Robert Goldman from Psychovani. We will have three US importers from textiles and three from food. Good morning. Uh, my name is Robert Goldman from Psycho Bunny. I am one of the co-founders of Psycho Bunny, which was established approximately uh, 15 years ago, 16 years ago, in uh, around 2005. We started producing garments in Peru approximately in 2007. Um, we have had a wonderful experience uh, producing our garments in Peru from uh, a business relationship standpoint of trans one built on transparency, trust, and good quality. Uh, Psycho Bunny um, focuses on the finest um, knitwear products, which happen, we believe, happen to come from Peru. And we've had a wonderful uh, working relationships with the factories from a business standpoint, from a quality standpoint, from a design standpoint, and technological uh, standpoint. Um, it's uh, from a marketing standpoint as well, and how we have positioned um, Psycho Bunny primarily made from Peruvian Pima cotton and manufactured uh, as well in Peru. Uh, it's been a wonderful uh, experience, and we look forward to the future and maintaining our loyalty uh, to Peru. Now, please welcome Ruben Oliver, a designer who works most of his collections in Peru. Hi guys, this is Ruben Gladstone here. I initially got um, connected with Peru on a family vacation. And I went there and got immersed in all these different aspects of the country from the food to the weaving processes and the fabrics and the colors and just the vibrant um, city of Lima in itself. And I actually got so inspired that I um, went back and I, wanted to create the concept of my business um, and really connect to the country itself. And um, when I got there, I really learned about these immense amount of weaving processes and how you have one side of the country and it's the Amazon and the other is Cusco and just like all these amazing things that are overflowing from the country. And I've now um, been in business there for two years and I have several manufacturers that I work with who specialize in different things and different weaving techniques and different knitting techniques and a wide variety of fabrics. And I just wanna say that I highly recommend um, anyone in the world who's listening to this um, to go to Peru and do business with Peru because um, I, I started a knitwear business and like most people who manufacture in Italy, for instance, and they manufacture leather, I want to make the concept of manufacturing Peru and knitting the same concept because the quality is there. And it's just so easy in terms of the people you work with. And I just can't express enough how excited I am um, for my project and for others to join as well. 
And um, thank you. With you now, Leslie Ames, CEO of Boutique's Leslie Adams from Miami. Hi, my name is Leslie Ames. I'm the owner and buyer of Golden Bar Boutiques. We have boutiques in Miami, Orlando, and New York. And I had a wonderful experience with From Peru. I met them at From Peru in New York in the show that they, they had a, a few years ago. And I had an amazing experience with them, especially buying the products of Saya Peru and Sitka Senge. My customers are amazed by the quality of the design of the fabric, especially the organic cotton and the linen that has been fantastic for our customers. Now getting into food, Nicolas Thomas, managing shareholder of the company SAF USA Company. Hello, my name is Nicholas Thomas. I am the president of SAF USA Corporation. Uh, we are a company that does trading. Um, and we are also a distribution company in the New York area. Um, we work with about 19, 20 companies, different companies that supply us for distributing different products, and we distribute our own brands. We have been working uh, together with From Peru uh, on the project of developing um, final goods products uh, ready for the consumer uh, coming from Peru. And the experience has been really fascinating uh, because, you know, normally we would import uh, raw materials from Peru. And in this case, we are importing products that are, you know, capable perfectly of competing in an international market. And these are very high quality products. And that is sort of the, what we're using to leverage the introduction of these products into the marketplace. Um, the experience working together with From Peru has been very rich. Uh, they give us a lot of support. Uh, both on the sending end, helping the different companies that are exporting from Peru to the United States, and on the receiving end with uh, campaigns and with, um, with materials and with uh, support in the local market to be able to develop these products. Um, we selected initially a group of seven companies to start working with, and as I said, the experience has been very enriching. And for us, it's, it's been really a pleasure. And we, it has given us the opportunity to sell very high quality products coming from Peru. So um, if anyone is interested in, in doing business with Peru, it's something we highly recommend. Xiomara Elias is the Director of Quality Assurance and Food Safety at Patagonia Foods, and they work with frozen fruits. Hi, my name is Yumari Layas, and I work for Patagonia Foods. We import frozen fruit from different countries, and our main products are mango and frozen and strawberries. In per Peru has so much to offer, starting with the foods, art, and beautiful places. And the products for exportations are not left behind. At Patagonia Foods, we want to offer our customers the highest quality products. And we have found in Peru those products. They have so much to offer, and especially uh, the seasonality, where we can match or integrate with other countries the fruit that we're looking for. And it has a lot of savings in, uh, for in, in terms of warehousing, or also the freight that we can, uh, where we can have saving for our products. It has been a pressure working with uh, Peruvian suppliers. They, are very, uh, they have great professionalism and uh, they're always very sensitive to our needs and want to meet our um, requirements. 
they are working with our specifications or they are willing to offer what a meet uh, what we uh, what the what the market can offer um we are very happy working with peruvian suppliers and we really recommend uh it can be for other people to start importing from peru it has uh thank you so much our final uh, U.S. buyer, che Jeff Chen, co-founder and chief coffee guy from Groundwork Coffee Company. They are really booming, uh, have made different stores and sell to through different retailers. Hi, my name is Jeff Chin. I'm the co-founder and chief coffee guy at Groundwork Coffee. We use, well, now we use quite a bit of Peruvian coffee in our, in our blends and as a single origin coffees. Um, and we started using them heavily, I would say, after working with Prom Peru to put together the first specialty coffee tour uh, for coffee roasters in Peru. And that was maybe five years ago or so. And uh, through that trip and subsequent trips and... Um, working as a judge with a couple of excellence and uh, on, on other subsequent trips there with uh, by myself or with an importer, um, meeting these, the really passionate uh, growers of coffee in Peru, both in the South and the Central and the Northern regions. Um, what I find really unique about Peru is the propensity of fair trade and organic coffees. Groundwork Coffee is a company who's uh, at its core, its core values it revolves completely around uh, organic certification and sustainable practices and fair trade or uh, direct trade practices. And um, I have to say, as a coffee buyer, when I travel to other countries, I'm often um, well laughed at, uh, sneered at. People don't want to say, "What do you? Why do you want us to be organic?" Or that sort of thing. In Peru, it's not like that. It's like so easy to find super high quality coffees multiple varieties, uh, as I mentioned, passionate growers experimenting with various methods of processing um, and such distinctive uh, flavors and, and profiles you'll find between the South and Central and Northern regions. Um, amazing naturals, amazing geishas, amazing bourbons, just lots of heirloom as well as some of the newer varieties. Um, and everybody is super friendly and super welcoming uh, when I come there. Uh, one, every year, except last year with COVID, uh, I was there and every July, I've been there every July for five or six years and, um, and really, yeah, really enjoy working with people there as well as the coffees because the coffees are, are so, well, I mean, honestly, I could probably buy every coffee I need in Peru without having to go to many other origins to get the flavor profiles that I want to make our blends. Um, that's how diverse, uh, Peruvian coffee is in the, in, and, and how, how, how unique it is as, a, as an origin. After such a kind words from our selected U.S. buyers, uh, please now welcome Amora Carvajal, Executive Director of Prom Peru, she will explain us more about the Peru Marketplace platform.
Thank you very much, Amora. Now we are getting to the final stage of this presentation. Thank you all for being part of this. And now the final words of our minister, Claudia Cornejo. Es un gusto estar con ustedes para el lanzamiento internacional del Perú Marketplace, la primera plataforma digital oficial en la cual se ofrece lo mejor de la oferta exportable peruana en un solo lugar. Esta fue desarrollada por el Ministerio de Comercio Exterior y Turismo y PromPerú. Asimismo, agradezco a los consejeros de las oficinas comerciales en el exterior, autoridades y empresarios que nos están acompañando en este importante evento. Vivimos en un mundo en el que los negocios son cada vez más dinámicos y los empresarios necesitan estar cada vez más conectados. Todo esto es posible gracias al uso de las tecnologías digitales y de información, las cuales, de una manera acelerada, se han convertido en una de las principales herramientas que conecta y desarrolla el comercio internacional. El gobierno peruano no es ajeno a esta realidad y por ello estamos consolidando las políticas públicas en materia de digitalización, especialmente ligadas al comercio exterior, impulsando proyectos que logren conectar a nuestros empresarios exportadores, sobre todo las pymes y de las regiones del país con el mundo. Prueba de ello es la implementación de la Ventanilla Única de Comercio Exterior BUSE, los programas de e-commerce, la Ruta Exportadora Digital, la Organización de Ruedas de Negocios Virtuales, Misiones de Innovación, entre otras acciones. Todos estos esfuerzos tienen como objetivo ofrecer las mejores condiciones para hacer negocios con el Perú, conectándose con empresarios confiables y una oferta exportable competitiva, acorde a las exigencias y estándares del comercio internacional. Este contacto sigue creciendo, pues a la fecha el Perú cuenta con 21 acuerdos comerciales vigentes que nos conectan con 54 mercados en el mundo. Estos representan el 81% del PBI mundial y el 41% de la población mundial. Asimismo, al cierre del año 2020, el 90% del comercio peruano estuvo cubierto por mercados con los cuales se ha establecido tratados de libre comercio. Hoy, me complace poner a su disposición el Perú Marketplace, un esfuerzo conjunto del sector público y privado peruano que hoy cuenta con más de 1.200 proveedores y más de 5.000 productos de los sectores agronegocios, industria de la vestimenta, artesanía y decoración, manufacturas diversas, productos pesqueros y de exportación de servicios. Los invito a visitar y explorar Perú Marketplace a fin de conocer nuevos socios confiables que cumplen y ofrecen bienes y servicios con altos estándares de calidad y sostenibilidad de manera sencilla y rápida a través del siguiente enlace www.perumarketplace.com Quedamos listos con nuestros consejeros comerciales y empresarios exportadores peruanos para atenderlos de la mejor manera confiable y competitiva. Muchas gracias.